If you're using an iPhone, you're most likely browsing with Safari, whether you're searching for something, opening a website, or watching a video. But the problem is that many people use it without adjusting its settings, which makes it collect your data, slow down your phone, or even expose you to ad tracking from websites. We'll go through all the settings you need to configure the first time you open Safari so you can stay safe, fast, and make sure no one knows what you're doing online. Go to your iPhone and open Settings, Apps, Safari. Here, you'll find several sections. Stay with me. First, Privacy and Security section. One, enable Prevent Cross-Site Tracking. This feature prevents websites from tracking you across other sites. For example, if you visit a shopping site, it won't be able to know that you later watched a video on YouTube or on Facebook. Two, hide IP address from trackers. Your IP is like your digital fingerprint. Any site you visit can know your approximate location, the network you're on, and even your city or country. When you enable this option, Safari hides your IP address. From advertisers and trackers, it's like wearing a mask while browsing. Three, fraudulent website warning. This feature should always stay enabled. It warns you if a website you're visiting is trying to steal your data or is a fake version of a real site, like bank pages or Gmail. Apple constantly updates this database to protect users. Second, search section. One, search engine suggestions. This feature sends every word you type in the search bar to Google or Bing, even before you hit search. That's a direct leak of your activity. Turn it off to keep your privacy safe. Two, Safari suggestions. This one makes Safari send everything you type to Apple to suggest websites, but that's also a form of activity tracking. Turn it off and let your search work normally without server suggestions. Three, quick website search. If you often search within a specific site, like YouTube or Wikipedia, this makes it easier. But if you don't use it, turn it off to reduce the amount of data sent. Third, history and website data section. Go to clear history and website data. This will delete your browsing history, cookies, and cache that may contain old or stored data. It's an essential step, especially if you bought a used iPhone or shared your device with someone before. Do this step every week or two to keep Safari light and fast. Fourth, advanced section. Go to website data. Here you'll see all the websites that stored data on your device. Some of them may have large or unnecessary files. If you find a suspicious site or one you don't remember visiting, tap Remove All Website Data. This resets everything and restores browsing speed. Fifth, Camera Microphone Location Section. Set all of them to Ask instead of Allow. That means whenever a site tries to use your camera or microphone, Safari will ask for your permission first. It, this prevents any site from using your camera or mic without your knowledge. Oh, sixth, some smart extra settings. One, downloads. Set downloads to save on my iPhone instead of iCloud to protect your privacy and avoid wasting cloud storage. Two tabs. Go to close tabs. After one day. This feature automatically closes old tabs after a day, keeping Safari faster and reducing RAM load. Three, extensions. Review all active extensions 
and delete anything not from a trusted source. Some extensions can spy or collect your browsing data. In the end, Safari is a very powerful browser when you know how to control it. But without these settings, it's literally an open door to your privacy. Take 10 minutes now to adjust all the settings above, and you'll be able to browse the internet safely and smoothly without spying, tracking, or slowdown. See you in the next video.